head women's volleyball coach, Corey Schrader, here with us. Corey, talk about just another, this past weekend, another five-set win over Cal State Northridge. And then, I mean, you battled a tough um, team in Long Beach State as well. But just talk about final non-conference weekend, what you saw. Yeah, you're coming out of non-conference at uh, you know, five and four. And, um, would love to have had a, an extra win or two. Um, we'll take five and four for, for right now. Um, really like what, what Dickert's talking about right now and over football, just go one and out. Um, so that's kind of our, our goal right now. Um, yeah, no, the, the CSUN match would have loved to have gotten out of there with, with a sweep, uh, go three out, but, uh, you know, we continue to show that we're really good in fifth sets, um, which, you know, definitely, um, as the season goes on, you win some fifth sets early on and that kind of com- becomes, you know, who you are, you know, you lose some fifth sets early on and that can also sometimes become who you are. So like that, we were able to pull some out um, early because um, we know that we'll probably encounter some later on um, and give us confidence uh, going into those fifth sets. Um, Long Beach match stuff, uh, definitely uh, haven't hadn't encountered a match quite like that this year. Um, they were good. Um, they were fast. We probably didn't have them have the team prepared um, to the level that that we could have. Um, you know, and Long Beach turned around and took it to Pepperdine too the the next day. So um, heck of a team, but now excited to go into WCC. Yeah, as we look to enter conference play here this weekend, got some new teams from years past. What do you, where do you, where do you see the team kind of at this year as you enter conference play? Yeah, it's uh, you know going to be certainly new and, and different as we, you know, each year obviously teams are are different uh, throughout conference play, but you know we're having to learn entirely new new teams. Um, I don't think we saw any of these teams uh, last year other than Pepperdine playing at our place in the, in the tournament, but we didn't even go up against them. So um, definitely going to be a lot of, of learning each week, um, traveling, learning new venues, new cities. Um, so a, a lot of that. Um, but, you know, we also have a lot of new players that even if we were facing the same teams, they would have been learning them um, anyways. So, uh, yeah, excited to get in against some, some new opponent, opponents, uh, starting with Santa Clara on Thursday. Yep, and we do start with Santa Clara at their place on Thursday. What what do you know about Santa Clara going into it? Yeah, they uh, you know they've they've hovered kind of in the, the middle of the WCC for a couple of years, but they're certainly a, a very capable team. Um, going back and watching video, you know they've had moments where they've played really well. Um, you know they've rotated through uh, a handful of players in different positions, um, so not entirely sure what to what to expect there. Um, so trying to prepare for for all of the options uh, for us, um, but you know they've they've caused some trouble in the, the WCC the last few years. So uh, we know that we're going to have to be be prepared and on our A game when we get down there. And then looking ahead to Saturday, another another tough match with San Diego, but we get to host them. It'll be here in Bowler at noon. Um, what are you kind of expecting from them? Yeah, come on out to Bowler, everybody. Um, need, need you there. Um, it should be a fun atmosphere. Uh, on Saturday, uh, San Diego has been a, a quality team for, you know, a couple of de- decades now. So um, can, definitely going to be be a, a tough match. Uh, they have a couple of new pieces from what they had last year. You know, I mean, they had a lot of new pieces last year um, as well. Um, you know, they've played a really tough schedule early on, um, preparing themselves for WCC play. Um, so their record. Uh, might not be uh, that great right now, but uh, they've played some really tough opponents and played them really well. Um, had a great win, uh, I believe, against BYU earlier in the season. So um, it's a it's a very capable uh, team, um, but excited to be playing them here in Bowler.